Welcome everybody to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host T and in this video I'm going to be talking about Nicki Minaj and the Idol to Rival Pipeline. Now yesterday Nicki Minaj took to her IG page to unfollow fellow female rappers JT and Ice Spice and the world's in a frenzy because they're like Nicki Minaj is the problem. She's a common denominator. She falls out with everyone and I'm here to say I don't think Nicki Minaj is 100% innocent in some of this stuff but neither are these girls. They are not victims. So I really want to get to the nitty gritty, tell you guys some of my unbiased opinion about what's going on here. And unfortunately, I feel like I'm going to have to vindicate Erica Banks, yikes, on some of her sentiments that Nicki Minaj works with rappers who are not talented and people who, you know, maybe not as much of a threat. I don't think that that's 100% true, but I think that there's some truth to that. And I'm going to get into that um, in this video. So before I hop in, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's talk in the comments and please turn on your notifications. Okay, you guys, let's start off with Bia. Nikki and Bia seem to still be cool. Bia never did anything like shady, stinky. So I don't think, you know, them two have a problem. It seems like everything is good. Let's move on to Coyla Ray with that Blick Blick mess. Coyla Ray used to be signed to Republic Records. Nicki Minaj is signed to Republic Records. So I always believed that uh, Republic Records told Nicki can you work with this artist so we can try to push her? It happens all the time. A new artist signs to a label. There's a really big artist over there at that label. So the label execs come to them. It's like, hey, we want one of our artists to push another one of our artists or to help to introduce, you know, another another one of our artists to the mainstream uh, market. So I never thought that Nikki really wanted to collab with her. And I, I wanted to say that to vindicate Erica Banks when Erica was like, she collabs with people who are not talented. Well, Bia is talented. So I don't think that that's 100% true. But I think Koi LeRae and some of the other people I'm going to name in this video, I think uh, that is is industry workings I do not have proof of that this is allegedly this is opinion I don't have proof of this stuff but this is just what I'm inferring or what I have a hunch I, I've always thought Republic begged Nikki can you help us try to push this artist and it didn't work clearly because Koi has been dropped by Republic and she's now over there at Island now Koi did um switch up after Nikki uh helped her out you know she ran her mouth about the collab which wasn't a good look and then her father you know came out doing the most but um you know Koi was from what I'm to believe what people have said and the the, the gossip mill the rumor mill that Koi did run around and start talking about Nikki to other people in the industry it got back to Nikki and Nikki kicked her ass to the curb so Koi you know Bye. Sorry for you. Let's talk about Megan. Now, Megan did snake Nikki. She did. She begged Nikki for a feature. She got on live with Nikki trying to shade Cardi B and then doubles back and works with Cardi B. That is some fake ass shit. That is some snake ass shit. Hence why she's now running around with the snake symbolism and the snake moniker. That is freaking snake as, as hell. Then it comes out that she was screwing Kelsey's, you know, man, or Tori was messing with Kelsey first, then Mega started messing with him. Snake ass shit. Uh, if you guys haven't picked up on the fact that Beyonce doesn't like Megan neither, I don't care about that, you know, savage shit. Uh, Beyonce used her for another Grammy. Rock Nation is being very strategic with Megan, okay? But... I'm telling you, Beyonce doesn't really like her either. If you if you just pay attention, a lot of people in the industry don't like Megan. So it's not just Nicki Minaj who has an issue with her. But that snake ass shit that she did, again, you hop you beg her for a feature, you hop online, you know, praising her. And then, you know, shading Cardi and then you go collab with Cardi. That is very two-faced. I would have a big problem with her too. 
Lotto, the feature never happened, thank God. Lotto is a complete imposter and a dud, okay? She does have more potential musically than a lot of these other girls who I'm naming and I'm and I'm going to name, but she is just as thirsty as Carisha for fame and fortune. I do not like Lotto. There's a reason why her music is not selling. There's a reason why... You know, they have to put her in this mysterious, fake-ass PR relationship. There's a reason why they have to bring Drake in to help her write. Because, oh, excuse me, let's not forget, let's talk about writing. Let's not forget that Lotto had, like, over 100 reference tracks leaked. And that Blick Blick was also wrapped by Lotto because neither of them wrote it. So I just want to be very clear that Lotto is an imposter through and through. I've already told you guys the industry is literally doing the new new from ATL ritual on her. I should do a video about that. But that is a whole ritual in itself. The industry will do that to people where they will make them um, act out a movie or a show or a character from a show or whatever. This really was going on with her. But she is an imposter and... You know, again, recording a phone conversation and, you know, all this other weird snaky behavior. I'm so glad Nikki dodged her ass. I don't mess with Lotto, period. And again, she's not selling because she's not authentic. And you guys have watched her continue to bite Sexy Red style, bite um, Ice Spice's style. She has no identity. She's whack. Sexy Red. Her and Nikki don't seem to have a problem. So again, you guys always ignore the people who she doesn't have an issue with. She doesn't have an issue with Bia or Sexy Red. When it comes to Sexy Red, though, I always believe that was another forced collab. I want to vindicate Erica Banks on this. I never believed that Nicki Minaj really wanted to co-sign her. I just don't. Sexy Red is trash. Her music is trash. Her image is trash. But Sexy Red is a product of this executive named Larry Jackson. And Larry Jackson has helped Nikki and Drake in their careers. And I always felt like Larry probably called Nikki and Drake for some favors to help push his artist. Again, I've told you guys multiple times, and you guys know yourselves that Sexy Red is an industry plant. And I told y'all, I think she's a government agent. You know, I've, I just did a whole video about her by request. So go check that out if you want to. But... Again, I never believed that Nikki really liked Sexy Red enough to want to hop on Pound Town by choice, okay? I think that was a favor. I don't believe that was, like, some real shit. Doja Cat. Now, Doja is talented, but she actively copies the hell out of Nikki and has tried to steal her entire style music-wise. You guys are gonna get in my comments and tell me, oh, Doja's nothing like Nikki. She's everything like Nikki. Everything like Nikki. The different voices, you know, all of the, you know, different voice inflections and stuff like that. And she's just, she, I don't like that about her. And that's why I really don't support Doja Cat because there's already a, there's already a Nicki Minaj. I'm not interested in, in listening to a Nikki knockoff. And that's what Doja Cat sounds like. She sounds like, you know, she is one of Nikki's uh, biggest sons, you know, because she truly has taken Nikki's formula and, and just tried to emulate it 100%. I do not like Doja Cat because of that. I can see why Nikki really doesn't want to be bothered with her. Um, again, say so is an industry, uh, industry stuff. It's business, but, but Doja, um, has rubbed me the wrong way. Again, I never was really a fan of her. Uh, I don't just, I just don't like Doja Cat. I don't like her music. I know you guys really eat it up. I don't really like her that much. And when I have tried to give her a chance, I'm like, you sound just like Nikki. I don't want to hear this. So bye Doja. Let's talk about Ice Spice. Ice Spice has motion and bops, so I want that to be known. I like Isis, 
but I don't think Nikki wanted to crown her princess. I just don't. I always believed that that was some industry shit. I always believed that the industry, because you guys know, they've put a lot of money behind Ice. They like really want to promote her. She has had some major push, some major marketing dollars, some major promo, the Rolling Stone cover, uh, the Taylor Swift, the Taylor Swift collab come on like and she's another person who got a little bit of help by drake all of that oh drake unfollowed me that was to give her press and publicity and to promote her never believed that that was anything legit or that there was some real interaction that would make drake you know mad enough to really want to unfollow this chick if he was really that mad it's because she didn't want to sign the ovo and i don't think drake was trying to sign ice spice to no damn ovo okay i always thought that that was a publicity stunt to get ice's name out there and some of her collabs though a lot of the money behind her is you know this girl's got big dough this girl's got elliot grange behind her so if that doesn't tell you something i don't know what will I think Nikki is just an artist and she's under control like everybody else. And so I think those people were like, we want to push this one the hardest. So we want you to give her that princess title. And again, she's harnessed enough of Princess Diana's energy. Peeve game. So they wanna they wanna give her that level of fame and that level of clout. I don't believe Nicki Minaj would truly crown somebody as untalented as ice spice as no damn princess of rap peep game on that now when those text messages came out why would nikki want to still be bothered with her like those text messages were not good she was saying nikki was using her she called nikki old and all type of shit why would nikki still want to be bothered with somebody who she helped so much i would kick her ass to the curb too by isis because your music is trash with well, the latest album you released was trash and um i did a review on that a 23 minute album with you know very few bars and you can't switch flows very well girl bye now i want to get on akbar before i get into jt somebody mentioned why hasn't akbar been signed akbar hasn't been signed because i don't believe that akbar is chosen by the industry if you guys haven't realized by now that there are people who are chosen or who have had to put in a lot of work i'm not talking about recording i'm not talking about None of that. I'm not talking about authentic work. I'm talking about doing what the industry wants them to do. If you can pick up what I'm putting down. I don't think Akbar has put in enough work for the industry to um, elevate herself to that next level. And that's why, that's why Nikki probably isn't trying to sign her too heavy on it. Because again, heavy record labels are a subsidiary of other labels. Heavy on it is a subsidiary of whatever label of, of Republic, which is the label that Nikki is signed to. So Republic is not going to allow Nikki to sign an artist that they have not approved of. Just understand that. So if Republic is saying they're a major label, if they're saying... This one here needs to give up some more stuff and do some more things and show some more allegiance. Nikki can't sign her. This is just my belief. I want to get on that. This is my belief because I have some knowledge, some knowledge of how labels work and how the industry works. And I just don't think Akbar is either chosen or has done enough for them to want to sign her. Now I'm going to get on JT. I know you guys like JT. But I really don't see it for her musically. I know she's got way more talent than Carisha. I understand this. I also want to um, say I don't care what you guys think and how this whole thing with Nikki has popped off. I will never be okay nor agree with Carisha's sentiments about JT. Carisha was going solo first via Rap Freaks and she's done a lot of features without JT. Carisha is not loyal to JT. Carisha is loyal to the money. She will only switch up on Diddy if Diddy goes broke understand that Carisha is not loyal um Carisha is not a good friend 
Carisha is jealous of JT. If she would have had a chance to be on Super Freaky Girl remix and fuck it up with her ratchet ass voice, she would not be mad at JT about it. She's just jealous. So I wanna, um, she's been jealous of JT for a long time. So I wanna just start off by saying this is not me vindicating Carisha. I don't like Carisha, and Carisha is a thirsty, unloyal liar. But JT is also not the best rapper. So two things can be true. I genuinely gave City Cinderella a fair chance. I listened to it several times and it just wasn't that great. I told you guys in the review that I have up now. Um, it's not my type of music. I think it'll do well in the South. But it's really not that good. The bars are not there. Uh, the lyrics are just okay. And again, the main issue is she can't switch flow. I just don't think JT is that good. I just don't. I'm not saying that she can't get better. I'm just saying right now she is she's still got a lot of um a lot of artist development to do. Now I wanna vindicate JT by saying signing to an artist is a huge risk. Okay? There's a lot of people who were signed to Young Money who never made it as big as Nikki and Drake or Tyga. You know, there's not. So um, signing to an artist is a big risk. You know, Drake was mad too when The Weeknd didn't sign with him. But thank God The Weeknd didn't do that or he would not be half the artist he is today. I mean, look at Party Next Door. Look at like all the people who have signed to Drake and now they are permanent slaves in Drake's dungeon cranking out hits for him. So, you know what I mean? Like, signing with the artist is just not a good look. Look at Chloe Bailey. She signed to Beyonce, one of the biggest artists on the planet. And Beyonce does not push her, promote her, nothing. Beyonce acts like that girl does not exist. I didn't even know Chloe had an album out until one of my subscribers, shout out to them, told me. Because Beyonce ignores her, ignores her sister, ignores their music. Like, Beyonce doesn't give a damn about them. So a lot of times artists, you know, smaller artists sign to bigger artists and it just doesn't work out for them. Rarely does it work out for them. So I don't blame JT for not wanting to sign too heavy on it because that probably would not have been a good look for her. You know, let's talk about it. Nicki Minaj has artists on Heavy On It already. She has. She's she's talked about, oh yeah, I signed this person. I signed this person. You know, they're so hot. I signed them. Then where are, where are they? Where's their music? You haven't given them features. You haven't promoted them. You haven't pushed them. They, are you, you signed artists and you may have mentioned their name once and we forgot about them. We don't know them. You don't post them on IG. Like, we don't know these people at all. So I can 100% understand why JT didn't sign to Nicki. I know Nicki Minaj is mad because she feels like, oh, you went over there with them white folks and you signed for less money. Black people do their own people the worst. Nicki, you know that more than anybody. Black people treat their own the worst. And okay, those white folks gave JT less money, but JT is clearly getting promo and the paper magazine shoot. Like, you would not have done that for JT. And that's where I'm going to come in and say, no, Nikki, like, your ass is not all the way innocent and I'm not siding with you on this. Like, you would not have gotten JT a paper magazine spread. You just wouldn't have. You would not have given JT access to the kind of styling that she's been getting. You just would not have been able to. Now, I find it suspicious that JT's own boyfriend won't do a collab with her when he's a massive mega artist. Catch that. So that's a little bit strange because I'm like, why won't JT, why, why won't Lil Uzi uh, collab with her? But hasn't Lil Uzi helped to get her in good with the fashion people? Like, JT is taking the Cardi B route. If you get in good with the fashion folks, they will definitely help elevate you and propel you to new levels. Nikki, I don't think you could have done that for JT. I just don't. I don't. I don't think JT would have City Cinderella out with all the promo and all the marketing. Like, I know you would not have done that for her. So I'm not going to sit here and say that JT is wrong for not signing with Nikki um, and taking another deal for less money. JT was smart and looked out for her own interests as she should as an artist. 
she should whether she's good or not okay i spice i think she did like the the princess diana remix is a partnership between heavy on it and uh 10k projects or wh whoever i spice is signed to now i think that jt or, and nikki should have did that kind of thing where they should have did the remix to um it was some song i forgot <laughs> whatever song that uh that cardi diss that uh jt made her and nikki should have did a partnership for that one song but hell no jt shouldn't have signed to nikki absolutely not so jt was smart for not signing to nikki and nikki is mad about it it is what it is again the weekend was mad and throwing slugs to uh or Drake was, yeah, Drake was mad again and throwing slugs at The Weeknd for signing to somebody else. It is what it is. Look at The Weeknd now. Major artist. So, no. Signing with an artist as an artist is one of the biggest mistakes you could ever make for your career. I would never advise somebody do that. Now, I do agree, again, after going down this uh, list, o Onika is right. There are artists who do try to use her for her fan base. But not all these girls are having um, are having delusions of their experience with Nikki. I think a lot of them are fake and just trying to rise within the industry. Megan and Lotto, I'm looking at y'all. Doja Cat, you trying to just copy the formula. And again, Sexy Red and Bia, you know, they never had any beef. Coily Ray, your ass too, you know, was running your mouth after you got what you wanted. So... Again, a lot of these chicks are, you know, industry chicks. You know, they move a certain way. But uh, JT, you know, I hate that this looks bad on her now because everybody is like, oh, yeah, that's what you get. You know, you switched up on people to side with Nikki. Um, I think JT, again, of course she wanted to be accepted by Nikki. But again, Carisha is still in the wrong. And Cardi B was only jealous because JT got a Nicki feature too. So I understand that people really be jealous. But JT was smart for not signing that goddamn heavy on a deal. So y'all, let's talk in the comments. Again, I like Onika. I love her music. I consider myself a barb. I did go to Gag City, okay? But she ain't all the way innocent, and neither are these girls. Let's talk in the comments. Bye.